Hi guys, recently I made this shepherd's pie from Jamie Oliver's comfort food series and it was just incredible. I can't tell you how nice it was. Forget everything you thought you knew about shepherd's pie. There's no mince meat in this at all. There's nothing like that. Instead, you roast a shoulder of lamb really, really low and slow so it's so tender, it falls off the bone and you pull it and stew it with some vegetables and wrap it up in mashed potato and you're going to reserve some of the juices as well to make this gorgeous gravy and it is just incredible. There is a lot of steps though, so for more details check out my blog at brookiecook.org. Start off with your shoulder of lamb, about two kilograms, and drizzle both sides with olive oil and sprinkle both sides with a good amount of sea salt flakes. Add a good mug of water to the roasting tray and then cover the joint with a dampened sheet of parchment. You're then going to roast this meat at 170 degrees Celsius for 4 hours, removing the parchment after 3. Which will give you loads of time to prep the veg. Start off by chopping up 3 sticks of celery, 3 red onions, half a swede and 4 carrots. Then take 2.5 kilograms of potatoes and peel them and chop them and boil them in salted water. How long this takes depends on how you cut the potatoes, but just make sure they're soft enough to mash really, really well. Now grate 100 grams of strong white cheddar, 50 grams of which will go into the mashed potatoes and the other 50 grams will go on top of the pie once it's all assembled. When the potatoes are done, go ahead and strain them and melt about 25 grams of butter in the pan before you add back in your potatoes. I'm passing them all through a potato ricer so the mash is really, really nice and fluffy and creamy, but you can just go at them with a potato masher, it's all fine. Sprinkle over half of your cheese and really mix it in really well and set aside to cool. Once the first three hours of roasting is over, take out the wet parchment and let the lab roast for a further hour. Now heat a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in a heavy base saucepan on the hob and add all your chopped veg, your carrots, sweet, onion, celery. Then I added four fresh bay leaves and a good fat sprig of rosemary. Mix all that up and let it fry for about 20 minutes. When the lamb's had its four hours, take it out of the oven and remove it from its roasting tray. We want to get all the flavor from all those burnt on juicy bits though, so to the hot tray add half litre of hot lamb stock and with a spoon do your best to scrape up all those black bits and set these pan juices to the side until you need them later now that the lamb has cooled slightly it's time to pull it from the bone it should come apart fairly easily it's been roasting very long and slow so it shouldn't be too difficult once all the bones have been removed it should be very easy to just shred it up with two forks don't be too precise here. Remember, you want some big pieces, some small pieces. It's this inconsistency that really sets it apart from minced lamb. Now siphon off a tablespoon or maybe two of rendered lamb fat from those pan juices. You'll need that later. Now add a heaped tablespoon of plain flour to the vegetables and mix it all up. Add in that gorgeous pulled lamb meat, followed by those tray juices that you reserved plus another litre of lamb stock. Add back in the larger bones for extra flavour. Then bring it all to the boil and clamp the lid on, reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 40 minutes. Now finely chop the leaves from another good sprig of rosemary and set aside. Now take a really big pie dish and pour in your rendered lamb fat and spread it all around the sides of the dish and the base. This is to stop the potato from sticking because in this shepherd's pie, mashed potato doesn't just go on top of the meat, it goes along all the sides and underneath as well. Now before the mash goes into the pie dish, you're first going to sprinkle over that chopped rosemary and about a tablespoon of breadcrumbs. This is going to give really, really nice texture to the outer part of the mashed potato. Now add your cooled mashed potato one pile at a time and with some ninja knuckles, spread it out across the whole dish. Just try not to knock off any of the rosemary or breadcrumbs from the sides of the dish and make sure that the mash is no thicker than about a centimeter thick. At this point, you should aim to have almost half your mashed potato still in the pot to cover it. Now fish out the lamb bones from your stewing lamb and vegetables. 
so you can pass the whole mixture through a fine mesh sieve to collect those juices. I don't have any sieve that's big enough for all this mixture, so I'm pouring them through a vegetable steamer. And give it a little prod just to help the juices flow out of it. Now pile all of this beautiful lamb mixture into its mashed potato lined pie dish. Now seal it all up by piling on all the remaining mashed potato onto the top of it and smoothening it all out with your hands. Top it with another tablespoon of breadcrumbs and the last of your grated cheese, the last 50 grams. If you're making this the day before, this is a good time to stop and leave the pie in a cold oven overnight. When you do want to cook it though, give it a drizzle of olive oil and transfer it to a 200 degree Celsius oven for an hour and 10 minutes. While that's in the oven, take the juices that flowed out of your lamb and vegetables and reduce them down so that you'll get a really, really nice, thick, rich gravy. When the pie is done, just serve it at the table and let everyone just dig in and help themselves. This mashed potato really had such a crispy, crunchy exterior, fluffy interior and just a beautiful, meaty filling. Oh, it was just incredible. I'm so happy with it. It was a lot of work, but totally worth it. This is just the best shepherd's pie you've ever had. I served it up with just some peas and poured over that gorgeous, gorgeous gravy that was so strongly lamb flavored. It was beautiful. I know you might be looking at this video thinking it's a lot of hassle or it's difficult, but you know, it does take a bit of time, but it's totally worth it. It's perfect weekend cooking, cooking that you can do when you've got loads of time in your hands and you don't want anything too difficult at all because it wasn't difficult really. Time consuming, yes, but difficult, no. And it really is like no shepherd's pie you've ever had before. I really hope you liked this video guys and if you did be sure to give me a like and subscribe below and check me out on social media you'll find all the links in, in the description plus the link to my blog where you'll find the full recipe at www.rookiecook.org.